I'm Jamie McIntyre, Community Risk Reduction Manager. And I'm Lieutenant Dan Strobeck, Spokane Fire Department. A closed door can often mean the difference between life and death in a house fire. According to the National Fire Protection Association, a closed door may slow the spread of heat, smoke, and fires during a house fire. One Sunday in May, a family learned this lesson. Stone stairs with my daughter, and then uh, my husband came down kind of frantic and said that the house was on fire. So I grabbed my daughter and wrapped her up in a towel, and then we went upstairs, and there was like smoke everywhere. There was only about like that much of clean air, so I ducked down. It was crazy because two of the rooms were closed upstairs and the closet was closed and they were completely untouched by the fire. One of the first thing we notice when entering the home is the presence of smoke and soot throughout the majority of the main floor. Smoke in a house fire is different than smoke from a campfire. Smoke from a house fire is toxic. The synthetic materials used in construction in our houses, such as furniture, paint on the walls, and plastics that we have in our home are actually fuel for the fire. As these items burn, they release toxic gases into the air. So even a couple of breaths of this toxic smoke could be lethal. This is one of the main reasons why we tell people to crawl low and stay below the smoke. Fire science can also tell us a bit about the temperatures that can be reached during a house fire. This is what we call here a line of demarcation. So the smoke and heat, which can be about a thousand degrees up above at the ceiling, will kill you, of course. Down here is where we're telling people to crawl low and go because your, your temperatures are much more survivable. A door is one of the most important tools that we have to stop the spread of heat and flames. Close before you doze. As you can see, this door was closed during the fire. So up here we have the high heat marks and the smoke where the smoke was trying to get in, but the door itself gave those people a few extra minutes. So once you're in this room right here, we want you to use your secondary mean of, of egress, which is gonna be your window. So activate your secondary means and, and climb out to your window and go out and, and meet your family at your safe place. If you can't, the door that you've closed gives you those few extra precious minutes for the firefighters to come in and rescue you. Standing in this room, you would likely be unaware that a fire had occurred in this home. There's nothing special about this door other than the fact that it was closed. They say a photo tells a thousand words, this says it all. Close before you doze.